Hey guys, this is Mr. Hardcore Mode when nothing's easy, and welcome back to more Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. It is it's shit's burning. We're doing return to Crookback Bog. Apparently, Baron is trying to find his wife and find out what's going on with the crones, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to go well. So, here we go. Oops. Beauty? What the devil do you mean? The great mare. The horse fiend. Folk done went mad. Lunged at each other. Murdering all neighbors or young'uns. Uh. It's the spirit of the forest. Taking revenge on those who sought its demise. Driving them mad. Geralt! Good you've arrived. I've trouble drawing any sense from their canting. Should give him a taste of the whip to bring him in line, because... My lord, tis what they... they said too. About the mayor, meaning that is the forest's dark ghost. Who climbed so? The, the w w w witch hunters passed through just now, heading for the village in the swamp. S -s -s Some lass was leading and asking after her mother. Lass, we must go there at once, get us. Tamara. Um, yeah, let's go. Agreed. I'll gather my men. I got my feline gear on and everything. With the swamp to cross and our cursed crowns to hunt down. I hope nothing happens to her. To my girl, Tamara. Plowing swamp. Pox ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Crowns, fuck me. What will these hay seeds think of next? The crowns exist. You'll know that soon enough. Oh, right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, Adler. Always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she was a good person. <laughs> that, that mare. That dark horse mare. The one that destroyed that village. On revenge. Partly my fault. Do I care? Oh. Everybody draw okay, everybody's drawing their swords. Apparently I'm gonna draw mine too. Everybody wants to draw their swords. What is this? Pig hide. That's what I needed. What you want me? Fucking shit! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So I leveled up my Ard. And now I can do that. I haven't seen that many all at once in a while. We shouldn't have come here. Got no business traipsing about. Managed the one time, but who the hell knows what we'll find deep in? That's a smart man right there. Through you, brawny bird. Who? Me? Here? Not on your life. All right, boys, let's move on. At pace. Show these horrors who's in charge. Okay. That is new. I don't remember that ever being here. Wait. It was here. Never mind, my mistake. Okay, it's up in the distance. Alright, cronies. Whoa. They just came out of nowhere. Back up, back up, back up. The mess have exploded, I can't tell. Oh, water egg. Okay, next time. That explosion injured her. That was epic. There we go. Water hikes. 
Where's a horror like that come from? That guy, I like him. He, he doesn't understand how water hags work. That's what happens when a, when a lass has too much booze. <laughs> too much hooch. That's bandit knowledge. Quick thing, let me see how water hags actually happen. Hey, yeah, I was intrigued. How do water hags happen? Mm, necrophages. Genre wise, if that be true, taint no wonder why they're such ordinary bitches. Wow. Swamp finds. Masquerading as lost old women to lure travelers back to riggedy shacks they build in the wetlands. In truth, only a blind man or a sighted man, blinded with drink, could mistake the rank sludge and rotting carrion of a water hag's den for a cozy cottage, and the hideous hag herself for her innocent grandmother. Eh, not too much on that. Anyway. Alright, alright, bringing up my sword, got it. Alright, there's necrophages everywhere. I understand. Let me just put on my necrophage oil. I love my cat. Um, my cat gear. I can't wait to upgrade it. Uh, I'm so excited. Witcher, why you? Tell you later. Yo, don't, don't harm my girl. Oh, that is the best. I should have done art a long time ago. No. Get him, Tamara. Get him, Tamara. Ah, that was her kill. Witcher, change your mind. How much did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. Uh, I yeah. To protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father, I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come tell her. Oh, don't get me in this. Stop arguing. It's stupid. You yeah. To find Anna. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tamara, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father, and I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Exactly. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. Exactly. I've Why am I here? Fucking here then. Have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village. Because <laughs> we're still alive. Gosh damn it, girl! Why are you so badass? Stop arguing, it's stupid. <laughs> Best line ever. <laughs> it's obvious that this place is empty. We should check that big room over there. Don't. Uh. Yeah. 
What in the world? What? No way. Why is she still alive? Is is that her? No, no. Impossible. We we must do something. Witcher. You're not giving me much of an option, and I did see the thing on her hand. Something's coming. Get ready. What was that? Well, oh, she's not going to sound because it wasn't. Get ready. That those clouds, those ominous clouds. Oh, snap. <laughs> Told you these cronies are bad. Alright, now's a good time to use, um... I am going to use... No, not Gravehack. Don't have it. Maybe later. I'll use this and change my bolts. Since it's a good time to use them anyway. I don't know why I changed that. Alright, let's do this. Where are they? Obviously they put... <laughs> and it's like, don't give me any part of this! I don't want any part of this! So glad I cut Oh, what the fuck is that? Nothing, I have no idea. I will, I will, I will take that. Everybody get it! Ouch. Fiend to me. Crones have sensed us. They know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? That is exactly Look why I got those kids out. Witcher, you know of these things. You must. What, what's wrong with her? 
Easy. Shouting won't help. Calm down. Simple for you to say. How can I? That's my mother. Understand? He's on our side. Let him think. Witcher. You know what is wrong with the woman. Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Crowns must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. Someone who saw something. Maybe Johnny. Who? A boy, a hermit. I hope Johnny's all right. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. Exactly. Oh my gosh. I hope Johnny's all right. Yo, Johnny's my boy. They better not. If they fuck with Johnny. Don't fuck with Johnny. Now, where's the bits from the, uh... Shut up. Stop. That's all he has to say after all that's just happened. You know what? I would sound like that after I just found out what just happened. There it is. Yeah. Oh, I might want to save real quick. All right. Let's go visit Johnny. Johnny, I hope you're all right, dude. I'm coming, Johnny. I'm coming. I'm coming, boo boo. Damn, you're ugly. Wow. Right, you miss. Yeah. Johnny, please tell me Johnny's all right. Johnny, please say words. Johnny. Not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. Johnny, I hope you're hiding, man. I hope you're hiding. Tiny Fresh little feeties. Johnny ran through here, fleeing something. From all the necrophages. Obviously. The craziness, girl. The craziness. What the 
fuck now. That is. Sounds huge. Sounds like a troll. In a way, I am still glad that I saved those children and got them out of here. They'd be dead by now. They'd be water hags for all I know. Wait, the feet in here? What else is around here? Johnny, why do your feet? Let's see. At the feet end here. Let's go see. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, there he is. Freaking witch's son's making me all blind. Johnny, wait. Johnny. Oh, witcher. You frightened me. Yay, Johnny! Thought it were those vile hags. Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Get on the crone's bad side? I told them off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? I wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. What would have been the doldrums out here without them? She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran, but they were angry she'd let the children escape. Is this my fault? No. No. Fuck that. So you saw what happened to Gran? By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. I went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark in her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I called into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones tottered in. The weavess snipped a lock of Gran's hair. Called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor. Went down. 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 Shame it went all the way to hell. Hmm. I know why they use the hair, but maybe we might need it if we can, you know, lift the curse. Take a look under the door. I look like a fool to you. Uh. No, you do look like the inquisitive type, though. My inquisitiveness ends where folly begins. Damn. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't fuck with that. Mm -mm. Why'd the weavess need Gran's hair? Any idea? The crones take folks' ears to hear all. Hair gives them power over folks' lives. There are times they weave the hair into odd strings. Other times they take it downstairs. Stay in the chest until the crones left? Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to himself. Not peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor. Started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest. Thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged them to spare Gran. Bruess piped up first. Naughty boy. Oh, naughty. Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes. Then the whispers says, run boy. Run before your legs rot off. They all laugh, and I legged it. There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. Farewell, Johnny. I'm so glad you're all right. I will do just that. Wallop and water hacks is what I do. Get up. All right. So 
We've got all the information we need. Let's head right back. What are deers doing here? They should have been miles away. They should have looked at this area and said, Let's go. Nope. What happened? What's going on? Anything. Just as I thought. The crones probably cursed your mother. Took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar under the house. Cellar door is hidden. In that case, we've no time to lose. Come. Mm. I'm going in alone. I work alone. This matter concerns us all. We don't know what's in there. Your men will make a lot of noise. More than I'll make alone. I am the Church of Eternal Fire's agent. I don't Lizzie. give a fuck. It is my duty to go with you. Fine. Just you then. Yeah. The rest stay here with Anna. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. Alright. Who the hell was making all that damn noise? I probably want to save it. Might be smart. These crones, they're not cool. They are not cool. All right. All right, let's search in here. Mm, some loot. Oh, I can't deny. It. I can't deny that. Can't say no to that. More crowns. Give it up. Give it up. Give it up. Must be down here. Down here. Oh, oh, what a lovely room of death. By the eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. But there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. Mm. Seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on black magic. Initially, we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. Poisoning your minds about with magic? Time. <laughs> Superstition? What's the hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. <gasps> Obeying something or someone you don't even know or have seen. Nice. This risk you mentioned. Take it we only get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. All right. Let's take a look at these dolls. Uh... Doll with a red bead. I think I already know what it is. She had red beads around her neck. Bird feathers. I don't remember having bird feathers. The Hylark Bloom. Look, look how bright that thing is, I indicating like you should pick this one. I'm not gonna fall for that. It's all with the human ear. Human ear attached to this one. I didn't mean to press it. Belong to one of the peasants, doubtless. Anna still has both her ears. Let's look at the others. Oh, thank God. Oh, I think he's giving me an option here. Mm. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa Eilhart, if that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna. 
and I can't think of any link between her and bird feathers. Well, that might seem obvious, but what if it's a ruse and this doll, in fact, symbolizes Anna? Symbolizes? No. A ruse? Don't say that. Doubtful. No. Crowns would have no reason to employ trickery here. Should look at the others. This whole thing is trickery. It's the red bead. Hmm. Red bead attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. Mm -hmm. Let's get half the women from Novigrad to Vengerberg. This God cannot be the one. Damn it, Grendon! I'll look at the others. I'm scared. I'm scared. Hmm. This is interesting. A doll with a flower. What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. Hmm. And you believe this to be the doll? Are you serious? After all that, this is what links her, even though her husband done, has done so many horrible things. This is what links her, is her husband and the flowers, or just the flowers. Yeah, probably her husband too. I'm taking it. I'm sure it is. Taking it. Quick, outside! What happened? What happened? Did I fuck up? Mom, you're back. <gasps> you! Yeah! You'll be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy, I'm dying. She's not well. Raven doesn't rightly know what's happening. You're weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. But now I must go. What? Well, what's she talking about, Witcher? It must have been a bond that was set forever. Nothing we can do to help her. But we... No! That's impossible! Dear daughter... Philip... It's... Good... To see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother... Tammy... Do you remember... That day... Amina. Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress so blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please. Remember me like that. No! I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. Hey, let's, uh, bury the, uh, mother Leave first. Your pie will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. Yay, money! After all that. <laughs> it's like... I know. Which makes it so more easy bored to bear. Excuse. Pain will pass in time. I'd like to believe that. I would. You may have a moment with her. Then we must bury her. Return to me. Very well. <laughs> you alright, babe? I still love you. Okay. Leave me alone! Okay, all right. Well, I'm out of here. Yes, sir. 
Okay, well, everybody, nobody likes me. Leave me alone, go fuck yourself. You know what? I'm out of here. This is why I concentrate on money. This is exactly why. I'm just gonna get my money and then go. It's all good. It's all good. It is good in the hood. Oh, I'm going the wrong way, ain't I? Yes. I'm just gonna collect my money and go. Act like that didn't even happen. Say, hey, tried to save your mom. Broke her out of the curse. But you didn't save a life. <laughs> Leave me alone. You know what? Oh, sorry. I'm not really sorry. I give not a shit. Alright. Roach. There you are, Roach. What? What's going on? What happened? What'd I do? Where's your gold? You can tell us willingly, or... No, please. We've none left. Sir, help us. Stay out of this. Hmm. It is none of my business, but leave them alone. Leave them alone. What's it to you? Won't stand by and watch you rob and murder them. Plain refuse to. Got a sensitive one? Look away, woman. Still here. Oi! Get him! Alright. Alright. Didn't see this happening, but whatever. Told you guys to leave me alone. I told. Told. Told you to leave him alone. This is random, by the way. Oh, his arm fell off. Did it? I can tell. Oh! You're bald. I didn't notice until now. I'm just kidding. Thank you. slaughtered us like Okay. Killing monsters, that's what I do. Roach, where are you? We were just trying to collect our reward and out of nowhere. Ooh, man, that is a nice sunset. Jeez, that does wonders on my eyes. I don't remember any game. I don't remember any uh, game with a sunset like that. You Usually when I see sunsets in other games, it doesn't really hurt my eyes, but this one, I'm just like, Jesus Christ. Alright, just give me the money. Just hand it up. I don't want to hear about it. And yes, it's your fault. Anyway, bye. What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. He was... <laughs> Does he look like he helped him? Himself? Or did you boys help him? Fuck you take me for? A murderer? You look like a murderer. He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected him. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Sometimes in choosing a greater evil, you do good, albeit in a small way. When I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice and never look back. I'm good. <laughs> Girl's like, where's my money? everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. Oh boy. I have a feeling it's not gonna be the same. Can I loot him? Off, 
You got some stuff, man? You got... No, no. Did I get my... Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I think I did get my money. That's good. Alright. Yeah. Anyway, guys, we're gonna end the episode here. It looks like I am done with Novograd and Velen for the time being. I'll, of course, go back for, uh... No, I'm done with Velen, but I'm going back to the main story mode in Novograd. That's what it is. Anyway, guys, I'll see you guys next time.